discuss what you are actually made of. Now we already discussed that your body contains water, but it also contains things called organic molecules. Now an organic compound or an organic molecule is a compound that contains carbon atoms that are covalently bonded to other elements such as hydrogen, oxygen, and other carbon atoms or maybe not other carbon atoms, maybe some other things. So carbon in this case is the extremely important element to remember. If something's organic it has carbon in it. Now we're going to discuss four organic macromolecules. These are the four macromolecules that are extremely important for life, at least here on Earth. Other places, who knows? So we have carbohydrates, which is what we're going to talk about first. We have lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Now all of these macromolecules contain carbon. Remember, that's the important part. They all have carbon. So let's discuss what makes macromolecules. Now we have parts to macromolecules and they sort of fit like a puzzle piece if you think of a big puzzle. So when we're talking about something called a monomer, now this is a small chemical unit that makes up polymers. A polymer is a multiple monomers that are chemically joined together. So think of a monomer as one piece to a big puzzle. And down here below you'll see that we have a picture of a monomer that's the blue piece. The polymer are many monomers put together. So think of a polymer as many puzzle pieces that are actually put together. So in my little picture down here, this blue puzzle piece is my monomer. My polymer are these three puzzle pieces up here, the red, the yellow, and the green. Now they're all put together as one big polymer. You're going to see as we move through here, you're going to hear these terms an awful lot. So if you don't understand them, please make sure that you check with me and we'll go over exactly what they are. So think of a monomer as one puzzle piece. Polymers are multiple puzzle pieces, multiple monomers put together. So let's specifically talk about carbohydrates. The carbohydrates get a very bad rap. And they really shouldn't because carbohydrates are definitely ne necessary for living organisms to sort of provide um, energy for it. So carbohydrates are organic compounds made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a proportion of 1 to 2 to 1. Now this basically means that there's one carbon, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. So keep this in mind as we go through. This is how it's set up. Now carbohydrates provide energy. Now there's one gram provides 17 kilojoules of energy and this energy is released through respiration. So carbohydrates are necessary for energy production. Now there's three types of carbohydrates. Now we have big words. So we have monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. The key here is to take a look at your prefix mono dye and poly. Those will help you decide what type of carbohydrate we're talking about. So let's take a look at these individual types of uh, ca carbohydrates and we'll talk about monosaccharides first. Now remember mono means one. So here we're talking about a single sugar or a simple sugar that is the building block of carbohydrates. This is actually the monomer. So this is our puzzle piece that makes up everything else. Monosaccharides are soluble in water. They taste sweet. In an example is glucose. Now this is something that's normally used in respiration. Over here to the right, this is what a monosaccharide looks like. Notice the ratio. We have carbon atoms, we have hydrogen atoms, we have oxygen atoms. The ratio is 1 to 2 to 1. Moving on to a disaccharide, now di means 2. So when we're talking about disaccharides, we're talking about a double sugar, also called a complex sugar. Now this is formed when two monosaccharides are joined together. 
thus we get two. So a disaccharide would be considered a polymer. We have two monosaccharides put together. So here's one and here's the second. So that, that makes it the disaccharide. Much like monosaccharides, these guys are soluble in water, they taste sweet, and some examples might be sucrose, which is table sugar. This is the stuff that you have at home, most likely, in those crystal forms. We also have lactose. Lactose is milk sugar. So these are some examples of disaccharides, which is a double sugar. Now take a look at how they are arranged. Basically, there's two monomers put together, and that forms the disaccharide. Finally, we have a polysaccharide. Now, poly means many. So a polysaccharide is a chain of three or more monosaccharides. So this is also a polymer. Now, polysaccharides are insoluble in water, so they do not dissolve in water and they do not taste sweet. So these are not your sugars. These are not your reducing sugars. These are things like glycogen, which is made by animals and it stores energy. Something like starch, this is made by plants, also stores energy. And cellulose, these are also made by plants and those provide the structural support in your cell walls of plants. So here's an example of what a starch would look like. Notice that we have three monosaccharides put together. This entire chain makes up a polysaccharide. But this individual part right here, this is your monosaccharide. This is a second monosaccharide. And a third. We put them all together and we get polysaccharides. So to sort of recap here, remember we have three types of carbohydrates. We have monosaccharides, which are single sugars, disaccharides, which are double sugars, and polysaccharides, which are basically three or more monosaccharides put together.